Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Odizer here with a new video of Clash Royale. So, I'm so sorry I couldn't upload any video yesterday or before that because I traveled and I came back to the US. My vacation is over. I'm going to start. I'm going to start a college back after tomorrow, after two days. So, on Monday. So, unfortunately, my vacation is over. I'll start school right now. So, yeah, but I'll still keep uploading many videos as possible as I can. Alright, so this is Let's Play Episode 3. I'm going to upload after the Episode 3 the uh, tips, and I know I focused many of my videos only on Clash Royale, but I'll try my best also to upload Clash of Clans video today. So yeah, also m different kind of videos tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Okay, let's go to Arena 3, and I'm going to use the strategy that the way or how the way that I win or the deck of cards that I usually use so that the type of cards I use to win. So after that in my tip video I'll tell you about that in quite detail. So basically as you can see I, I use my barrel a lot. So the main my two main my two main cards are the barrel goblins and the baby dragon. So both of them are epic and I think I was very lucky to have those because they are quite or uh, they are because they are new or so because they are epic so yeah also so many people don't really have it but still many have the cards also if you noticed i i joined a clan which is wicked gaming clan he's a youtuber i bet you all know wicked gaming so i'm sure you all know him so yeah so the clan you need 600 trophies or higher to join I hope you all the ones all of you that have 600 or trophies or higher join the clan I would be very happy to see you guys in the clan that we are right now and to make the clan full and active so as you can see I I, I destroyed one of the arena building so what I like to do is basically uh, destroying the arena building before going to the king because as soon as I destroy the, both of the building it will both of the buildings it will be much easier for me to go and to destroy the king alone easily so that's the main way that I use in order to attack so yeah and let's see so I have goblins in here the skeletons so I, I like the skeletons because they are really cheap they just uh, I just use spend one mana so Although sometimes they not really do anything because they die quickly, but now I have also the barrel, the goblin barrel, and now they destroyed the second arena building. Alright, so we have 60 seconds left, and the elixir is times x2, so let's see. So basically, many people keep doing while, while the one minute left is basically dropping all of their cards or dropping all of the... All <laughs> keep dropping in their area so I hope you understood what I just said all right so this is a three crown win a three crowns win and we did this one so and I got golden chests 27 a 27 trophies also I'll be up I'll be able to open crown chests very soon so let's let's go for another raid or for another battle and see how we're going to do with the same cards because even though I got different cards, I keep getting different cards, I just don't like to change it. I like to attack it with the same cards because I think they are really kind of uh, strong ones and useful and handy cards that I really, that I'm really able to use them very well. So yeah, so let's see now, since he dropped the giant, I drop all of the, I drop all of the cards that I can that are not that high of elixir that are not that expensive because uh, the more cards in the battle the more fast the faster I can just uh, destroy the giant so this player also has baby dragon but I'll still try to do my best in order to destroy the baby dragon alright so the goblin barrel time and I have the goblin hut so I like to do I like to put the goblin hut on the side and because this helps me a lot and helps to distract the other building so yeah so let's see one more so 
I hope I can have the witch because I think in my opinion witch is very strong since uh, the witch deploy the skeletons and it, the witch attacks herself so she also attacks so that's why I really wanted the witch and uh, I really wanted the witch I hope I will get it soon but I don't know when soon it will be but I hope I will get it all right so let's see so basically as you can see but the problem with the witch I noticed that she died quickly I don't know if you noticed that well basically all of them die quickly but not the knight or the giant also the picker I think I think the mini picker also died quickly so yeah so what do I have so if I have if I see someone drop like a baby dragon I just basically do drop my baby dragon as well if I do have it in my hand and the archers so we have one minute left and we didn't destroy any of the buildings, none of us. So let's see, so I'll be able to destroy his building obviously, just uh, 16, uh, 16 health left for his uh, arena building and I think I'll be able to do it. Also as soon as I see the prince I just drop everything I have because the prince is really, is really overpowered that can even destroy the building very fast, the arena building. So yeah, so 29 seconds left and I try to do my best to not let them touch my arena building and oh my god the epic the prince is here again and let's see let's try to do our best to not let them touch the building at least not the prince so yeah oh my god I'm really nervous right now I think I won't be that lucky but let's see now the giant is here okay now with the goblin barrel will do their job oh no Oh my god, I was lucky, I just have 16 HP. So that was a good game. So yeah, that's it basically for Let's for let's Play Episode 3. I hope you enjoyed watching. This is how I usually win in a win in 800 trophies and above. So I, I hope you enjoyed watching. Subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. Let's try to reach this video to 25 likes for even more strategies. Goodbye and see you later guys.